Hi, this is Mark. In this video, we're going to study compositing modes as well as Z-depth layering. To understand how this works, you need to know that layers can move in three dimensions. They can move in X, in Y, and in Z. X is for your horizontal movements, Y is for your vertical movements, and Z is for spaces in depth. And to understand this, we need to see it in a top view. Simply click this little plus next to your node view choose top. This will show you a top-down view of what our camera is seeing. We currently don't have a camera in our scene and that's okay for now but understand that this is the cone of angle and all our layers are currently sitting on the zero set Z space. I want to see my node view at the same time so I'll click and drag this off and I'll dock it to the right so that I have two windows now node view and top and I will shift this over a bit. Now, in order to understand how to put, say, a character behind these bushes, we have to understand first how composites work. Simply click and drag your viewpoint over to the right, and we'll study how this little setup that I've created uh, will make sense. I have a color card, a square, a triangle, and a circle. And you can see that the color card is on the rightmost, and the circle is on the left. Let's switch to that display view right here in our toolbar. We're going to select display 2. So you can see there are, there's our selections. So I'll turn off animate mode because I just want to select things. There's our square, here's our triangle, and here's our circle. And our color card shows up way back there. The color card is set to 12 back and if we click the properties you can see it right here in the offset Z. If I put this to a 6 back you can see that it's now moved forward in Z space closer to the zero. Let's move that back to 12. So as long as things are in the exact same Z space, such as these three layers, then the ordering is always going to be from right to left. Whatever is on the right will be at the bottom, whatever is on the left will be at the top. The same thing happens in the timeline. You can see that the square is at the bottom and the circle is at the top. If I rewire this so the circle is here, you can see this is respected over here in the timeline as well. Circle is now at the bottom, triangle is at the top. Now what happens if I move this circle back? And I'm going to push it back with the transform tool here. It pushes back and even though it's visually at the top, even here, it has Z depth information, so it's no longer in the same Z space as the two, these two layers. Since these two layers are still at zero, zero, then whatever is on the left is higher than what's on the right. So if I move the triangle over top the, the square, you can see that that is still respected, but the circle is still in the back because of its Z position. So the ordering is respected so long as things are in the exact same Z space. Otherwise, the Z space takes precedence to show where it's going to display.